Are you looking for a free dashboard for your open source apps? Let's discover Dashi, the ultimate homepage for organizing all your services, links and more in one place. With custom theming, status indicators, authentication and tons of widgets, it has all the features you need to create your ideal dashboard. To start using Dashi, you can browse the live demo and follow their Docker installation guide in their documentation for self-hosting. Or use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using Dashi on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for Dashi and select. Choose between the different cloud providers available, regions and service plans based on your needs. Next, from there you can adjust more advanced settings and choose the different level of support. The first one is free and included by default. Once you're all set, hit the create service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your instance is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on Elestio administration dashboard for your Dashi instance. Copy the password into your clipboard. Username is admin and follow the, the admin UI link. We arrive on the login screen. Uh, by default, it's a bit in a retro style, more for personal than business use. But we will see together that you can use different theme to fit different scenarios. Let's type our username, paste our password and click on login. Here is the default style you have and we have a getting started block, a group of widgets containing different links. Let's start by opening Dashi Live and we will explore the UI features from this example, this demo from Dashi, as it contains by default a lot of things. For example, here on the right, you have the environment health check. You have different links to the repository, issues, release, packages, social links to product hand. And on this example, it's mainly links accepted here for the health check, but we will discover other types of widget later. You also have access to a useful search bar here. If you type alt, you have alternative to and alternative v, I don't know, probably view. So if like this one, you have tons of different things, you can search for the one easily. Very important, if you don't like this style of retro interface, you can switch between different theme. You have the default one, which is what we had on ours on the login. Callisto, Oblivion, and some look more professional than others. For example, Material, it looks quite neutral. You also have uh, the Adventure one that is quite professional too. If we go back to, let's say, Material Dark, we can polish it by choosing different colors. If you change the primary uh, here, background darker, you can really polish the eye aesthetics and either you are happy with it, you can save or you can cancel and it's back to the default uh, from the theme. You have other UI features, for example, the layout. If you want to display more or less things, here it's very condensed. You can also make the items bigger or larger. Here you have a nice description about what it is. And the most important to give you some uh, power on it is the configuration. You can edit uh, the row configuration here. You have this UI, we will see uh, it more in depth later. But still about the theme and the aesthetics, you can write custom CSS in addition to choose the theme and color as we saw, giving you full power on the aesthetic. All right, let's get back to our instance and see the different things we can do on it. First, we can change the theme. Let's say Node Frost. OK, it's simple, but looks good. And let's edit the configuration. Edit config page info and what it is is dashi welcome to your new dashboard this is what you see on the top left if we write lsto welcome to your dashboard without the new save changes and here it is on the top right you can see github and documentation this is in page info the nav links 
0 and 1. Here they are. We can say, okay, documentation, repository, and change the different links. Change, and you will see them. You can also add other ones, either visually here by using uh, somewhere, I think there is a plus button. Okay, it's by clicking here. I can see the action, append or insert and remove. Perfect. Another thing you can do from the config file here is inside of to add other users. By default, you have an account created, user admin and its hash, but you can add another. Oh, I think it's insert, uh, not here in users. Okay, here. But what you will need is the username. It's easy, but the hash, you need to generate it. And if you have no idea of uh, what it's expecting, you dive into the documentation. Go first, you can see the uh, documentation for all the different features. We'll discover it uh, a bit more later. But now what interests us is authentication. We can go to hash password and they explain us that it is using this algorithm and they have a link to generate them. Simply follow them, copy paste and you're all good. If like me, you're not a big fan of the interface here to add remove item and you prefer a more classic one, you can go to code and use the JSON syntax for doing it easier as a developer. Okay, let's cancel the change here. We want to add a user. What we want to see is how to add a widget. To do so in the email that you received, you have guidelines on how to do it by editing the YAML file on your instance, which is uh, the file we are editing when we are editing the configuration. You can add users and add a simple widget. So first let's simply follow it on our instance. We can go to tools, VS code, copy the password into your clipboard, access it, paste the password. You arrive on a VS code directly connected to your instance and you have access to the YAML here, which is the same thing we did earlier on the interface. With the difference, you can write the YAML directly. Let's copy the example here, simply paste it. Not sure where, okay and save. Now, if we reload, I think I put it uh, the wrong way. So you can see it uh, in JSON here. And what do we have? I think it should be a section, not uh, an item inside a section. So maybe if I take it here and add it to the sections, it looks better. I have this warning about the ID, so I will get rid of it. Save changes. And OK, I have ARIA info and the widget here. My bad for complexifying things. But if you're wondering why we were using VS Code for the YAML, maybe it's me, but I didn't find a way to edit directly in YAML format here, only JSON and uh, tree view. But if we go back to Dashi uh, documentation, what interests us is the different widgets. For example, the clock is the one we added. The example is in YAML format. So we need to go into our config file and it's converted automatically to the right one. And then you have access to all the different widgets, the weather, displaying some image, IP blacklist, some of them are dedicated to crypto. Many things available and of course, because it is open source, you can find the different documentation to create your customized one for personal needs or business needs for customers, for example. As always, I recommend you to check the documentation for the widgets and for all the different things for features that could benefit you that I didn't cover and present in this uh, short platform overview. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Dashi with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video available here.